Okay, so welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky. Uh, this has about been a little half in a day than uh, half a day since the upload. I played the game last night about a day ago, so the game's still fresh in my mind, don't worry about it. This is the plan for the upload schedule. First things first, I'm going to upload every single day around the same time. Around 11 a.m. is the plan for this. And another thing, each episode I'm hoping to shoot for about an hour now because when I thought about it, this game is in a series of games, and that series of games is very long. So it's going to take anywhere between, you know, 300 to 600 hours to play through and beat all of them. So this is going to be a long running series, and if I upload every single day, it's going to take over a year anyway. So I might as well just upload large chunks, or I might upload multiple episodes a day. Either one. Just. I guess I'll just kind of figure out what works. This uh, this time is going to be a one hour episode. I guess next time, next time will be like two 30 minute episodes. And I kind of just see which one works. Now, let's venture into the sewer. We are trying to become bracers, I believe. And this episode, I'm going to read off what they say. And if you guys don't like it, just put it in the comments. If not, so... Because I, was, I wasn't reading in the last time, and I don't know if people like that or not. Wait a minute, Estelle. There appears to be a recovery point over there, so we should use it for our HP or EP comes becomes low. Or meant charging stations are recovery points set up in dangerous areas. The recovery point is approached. A exclamation point will appear as two choices will display. Selecting the rest option, all HP will be restored. Do I need to do this now? Rest. Okay. I did it. All right, uh, enemy. Monsters at 12 o'clock. Be careful not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Got it. Monsters cannot be seen from far away. They will become visible as you approach them. The conditions at the start of battle will change depending on how a monster is engaged. Engaging an enemy from behind is advantageous while being attacked by an enemy from behind is disadvantageous. Okay. Okay, this how does combat work? Hint. Indicates who attacks first, starts from the top, and moves down. Okay, I can move. I can attack. You may use it. You may also use it to move. If you, uh, when enemies rage, uh, possible, but not, yeah. Hit his ass. Attack. Actually, yeah. Prep for the next one. They're not doing anything. Okay. Beat his ass. Yeah. Hit him with them swords. Not doing anything. Okay. Attack. It is so easy. I'm the best. Beat his ass. That's that. Didn't even have to try. It was like pussy guy. XP <laughs> Fucking heroes already, boyo. Let's go. Where the fuck are these? Here come some more. Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Okay. Arts are effective enemies that are good at avoiding physical attacks. Arts will make long range attacks possible, but they require time to be cast. EP is consumed when arts are used. EP can be confirmed by pressing the ends of hotels. Okay. Understood, Chief. Arts are okay. Oh, arts are have an element. Is already okay. Art. Oh, hit him with that fire bolt. It's just like I just focus on all these motherfuckers. Damn. Oh, I get, okay. So then, just auto the other one. That's cool. Okay. We're good to go. So, not, so you don't waste it. So you'll go to the, the next enemy then. Hey, hey. 
Oh, I was gonna start rapping there. Uh, I need the beat back, please. Roll, roll that shit back. Since crafts are the size of they're worth a shot. It's Roger that. Crafts have range, range limits, but can be used like instantly. CP is gained by dealing out of receiving damage during battle. Okay. Hint. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I can see, uh, I'll just figure it out. Okay. Uh, morale. Come on. <laughs> pick, the pick up the fucking pace, okay? You whack ass. Dual strike. Hmm. Fucking easy. Didn't even have to fucking try. Oh, damn. You whacked my ass. Okay, fine. Uh, 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 uh. Art. Yeah. Soul blur. You're gonna blast his ass. Attack his ass. Never mind. Didn't even, didn't even need to do it. Hey, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, ah, uh, trails in the sky, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, ah, uh, ooh, trails in the sky, ah, uh, feeling super fly, ah, uh, I am the guy, ooh, uh, uh, I am the science guy, call me Bill Nye, ooh, I am super fly, ooh, uh, country like side, <laughs> I'm not gonna die, ooh, uh, enemies they all cry, ooh, cause I shot them, ooh, I uh, pop them, ooh, I, uh, Rock em. and I sock em. Ooh, I rhymed mm four times. I rhyme times with rhymes. Ooh, I got lines, they got signs over left, over right. <sighs> they are these, they are that. I am not super whack. Ooh, <sighs> they are night, we are bright. Ooh, they is a uh, Joshua Bright and uh. <laughs> That's still right. I got the. Okay, wait, wait. Um. <laughs> we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> we'll come back to it. It'll be better. It'll be better next time. Don't you worry. Is that the chest that we're looking for? Uh, nope. It's just locked out. Locked away. Oh, what a surprise. It's not the creepy thing. I don't know why, but I'm starting to sing. I wish there was an easier way to take care of them. One ball using S craft or S break should do the trick for just about any enemy. Catches or CP has to be at least 100 to pull off one of these moves. Okay. These definitely tests can only be unleashed when the CP gauge is above 100. Breaks or actions which allow S crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order. S crafts which are unleashed as S breaks can be changed by going into tactics and set S break within the main menu. Let's do it. Hit it with a S break. Uh, uh, that is all it fucking takes. Uh, is an item. No, that's a reviving ball. Uh, uh, while I am singing the song, uh, that was a very slant rhyme. Uh, Joshua, his powers revolve around time, like a clock. Ooh, suck my cock. Ooh, don't wear socks. Ooh, I am a rock. <laughs> I, 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 I. S breaks all it takes to forsake these guys who hell ooh with a spell ooh fire bolt mm. it fills me up like Joel uh, uh, ooh I'm like Joel I am bold you are soul on my rhymes switch it up <laughs> all the time I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, press the break button to unleash an S break. An S break cannot be unleashed under the blank condition. Uh, but we're on a mission. Open the chest. Because we're the best. Ooh. Better than all the rest. We're gonna pass this test. Ooh. I'm done. <laughs> I'll press the break button and try and unleash an S break. Okay, Dang. He was rocked and socked him. Hey. 
What a badass. It's so hot. <laughs> Whacked. Piece of cake. <sighs> it's a piece of cake. Oh, with the S break. Ooh, that's all it takes. Ooh, they are forsaken. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was my song, Forsaken. On Spotify next week. <laughs> I don't know why I'm rhyming. It's rhyme day today. Give... Give chess. Yeah, bonus is gonna be on. That's cool. Okay, so you can use an S break to sort of like... To ignore battle order. this combat so I don't get absolutely riggedy riggedy wrecked. Okay, they're dead. They are gone. Attack. Missed, okay. Get these guys out of the way. Got a chest. I mean, Joshua's taking a hit. Okay. I'm gonna take him out so that we can get art ready for that one. He's just gonna keep giving some health. Now they're dead. Ooh, you're just in range. Can I soul bar again? Yes, I can. And you're just gonna heal yourself. But you're done, son. Fire bolt. Piece of cake. Oh, oh. Hit him with the cool eye. Oh, oh, oh. Cause I'm the guy. Mm. They're all gonna die. My lo fi album drops next week. So we can retreat from here. <laughs> it's opening one of those boxes because it results in an automatic fail. Sorry, I forgot to reading it. They're talking about basically, um, he thinks they're gonna fail, uh, if they look inside what the, uh, box is. <laughs> By looking inside the box again, you flung. Just kidding, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, I should probably heal before I leave. I don't know, like, this seems like a kind of game where, like, I can just walk outside and, like, the whole world's burning. It's like, Dad, no! And then, you know, very sad moment happens and, and Chad Seos is just gone. Hmm. 
Mm. Fuck, I keep forgetting to read. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. I figured you'd try it instead of stuff like that. Ooh, congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think of something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, Shreya, what's in these boxes you had us get? Ooh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Bitch, <laughs> as your rating is finished. That's enough chit chat for now. Let's get back to work. You still have some things left to do? Seriously? But didn't you just say that we passed the test? You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but there's no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. Wasn't this day going to be over? Oh well, no sense of giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agree? It seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. Our goal. Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish your job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting is how you resolve the situation and the steps you took there to get all the parts of your job as appraiser. You report your results into the front desk in each guild branch, as you already know. But now it is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, there is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training? Upon reporting the counter, a talk mark will appear. Pressing the OK button will display a list of options like report to report to the guild. Hello. Uh, and let's just chat. Uh. Bro. Junior Bracer, ninth class. Seems like you were able to complete your checks without running into any major problems. I think it's take note of that. Depending on how you handle the job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. And you report the results of your work to the guild, playing in the form of mirrors. And the only thing you will receive, you also accumulate points, which are known as BP. Bracer points, BP, as an indication of your achievement as a bracer. These points you see at certain value, you will advance in the rank of the bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer start at nine and go all the way up to one. Please say. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of mirror and BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebook, so please have a look at it sometime later. On. What I have to do now to finalize your training. I am so good at reading. I am the best. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? Talk to you later, Aina. And sorry about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it. Training new bracers is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? And knowing sure it'll involve the whip. Ooh, kinky. I like that. I want some more of that. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again, good work you two, you have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you'll be learning from your own real world experience. Well then, trays are holds on two small boxes. Aren't those boxes the ones and then answer your question? Yes, these are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside the stuff. We're saying that it's okay if we open them. That's right. Why don't you both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright. Let's have a look. I wasn't looking at the camera. <laughs> I turned to be like, oh, I'm gonna like, dramatically look at the camera, but I wasn't. I looked at myself instead because I'm, because I'm petty and you know, what's the opposite of humble? Uh, I'm vain. Yeah, you know, I just like want to see my pretty mug instead of looking at the camera to the beautiful audience. Ooh, it's a fire emblem. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are doing bracers. Uh, from here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome to the fold. I keep forgetting to read. Well, I mean, I'm reading, but I keep forgetting to say the words. Say the words, please. We are members of the Bracer Guilds, so I'm a Bracer now, huh? I don't know. Uh. Dot 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 in the realization only just now just start be uh, Oh my god. I think the realization is only not just beginning to sink in. I can't read. Come on. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. Okay. <laughs> uh just imagine I'm screaming, I can't scream right now. Look at this now, world, we did it! I was happy until you made my eardrums play. That's funny. There was a celebration as well, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my attention. Okay, so I have a story, right? I was stopping in the middle of it, and this game's already long, but I have a story. So I, um, I didn't really know how to read until oh, much later than other people. Like, I just didn't, I just never picked up on it. And in, like, first or second grade, I realized people were reading books, and I wasn't, because I wasn't very good at reading. 
So I got envious because some person was reading a Scooby-Doo book and I wanted to read the Scooby-Doo book, but I couldn't. So I demanded that I would be taught how to read by my parents. <laughs> so I crunched, like I went into crunch time as a little kid, reading books and newspapers and articles and whatever I could, trying to figure out how to read, just so I could read the Scooby-Doo book. And then like, I kind of went so ham at it that I went into like a 12th grade reading level in like fourth grade. So, so my skill at reading very quickly, like in my head, not with my mouth, because I have a speech impediment and I sound like crap when I'm talking. Sorry about that if you're watching. But I can read really fast and it's all because I wanted to read a Scooby-Doo book when I was a little kid. So if you have a child and you want to motivate them to learn how to read, just make them watch Scooby-Doo before they learn how to read and then get a Scooby-Doo book and read it in front of them and be like, you could know about the Scooby-Doo story if you learn how to read, you idiot. <laughs> just some honest advice, you know. I, I could become dad of the year if I was a father. Just saying, my kids are going to be reading all the Scooby-Doo books while your kids are still drooling at the mouth, you know, like simpletons. Well, my Chad and big brain children are going to be reading the literature of the century scooby-doo novel tie-ins the more you know we understand we've been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild before you head out shreya i just wanted to say thanks likewise i appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us shreya don't mention it training new recruits is one of my bracers many duties Boo -doo -doo -doo. believe not it was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father cassius trained me so that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? Now, there's actually much more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become a full-fledged bracer early on, so you can help guide those new recruits who come after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you be both. I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. Thank you. You're the best. Ooh. I'm dad. We passed the test. Ooh, let's drink the bottles. Go go go. I just don't get it. Get what? This is Shreyazar, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is that she holds that in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle- Man, that's fucking- That's a rough you know, <laughs> labeling your dad. <laughs> no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion. Hmm? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let dad know that we qualified as junior bracers. Right. I guess it's just, like, the pers like she just has a different perspective on him. You know, she just come home and do things. Can I talk to you? Hey there, Estelle. Oh, hi, Ridge. Looks like your training is over, isn't it? I'm humbled to know that you two are the youngest ever to pass the bracer exam. I look forward to working with you in the same capacity. Ourselves as well. I have to get back to work now, but if there's something you don't understand, give me a holler. Thank you. That's so nice. Hello. Congratulations, right, so you two are now official members of the Bracer Guild. From now on, I'm going to be passing jobs out to you like candy. Bring it on, is all I have to say. I look forward to working with you. I look forward to working with the guild. Okay. Oh, okay. Newspaper. Newspaper. I remember that. Gotta get a newspaper. Hurry up and come on. Wait for me, Luke. Oh, it's just you two. It's him and Luke. It's Estelle. <laughs> Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you will twerp. What's going with the- Oh, great. It's Estelle remark. And what's the big hurry about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of, out of town alone, are you? Their roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest, Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big, big fat noses in boys' business? Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wannabe. It's just, just how wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more than the fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in Liberal than the milk that comes from the Perzo farm. What? N no way. You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. We're like bracers in training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now, a high pony, on the other hand, quits being a killjoy. <laughs> well, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. I'm like that smart Alec and cynical brat you call a friend. <laughs> this isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. Can I, I can accept that Josh would became a bracer for me, but getting a pass by the likes of Estelle? Whack. What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? I guess people don't have a very high opinion of you, girl. I'm sorry. Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old. Get it? Only mature people allowed. And that means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. <laughs> you better watch out. 
I'm going to go train at my secret base before you know it. I'm going to be a racer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. Uh, all right, I'm coming. See you later, Cell. Bye, Joshua. Later. Have a boy, Luke. He's always trying to pick a fight with me. Well, I mean, it seems like you're always trying to pick a fight with people too. I wonder if he's just playing hates me or something. But I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. It's just a boy thing. Anyway, what do you think Luke meant by when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. Secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure heart of a young child could be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I meant by curious. <laughs> ah, it seems like our boy Luke has a crush on Estelle. Well, I mean, like, people are talking about, oh, oh uh, I don't think, you know, guys would like the things that... Estelle enjoys. No, I think a lot of guys would like the things that Estelle enjo enjoys. Let's go to the general store. Okay, I have to buy newspaper. Oh, did you manage to become bracers? Okay, yeah, we bet we did. Maybe I should have you start calling me a hyper bracer Estelle from now on. By the way, Mr. Renan, did the liberal news come in? Liber liberal, not liberal? Lib liberal. Liberal. I'm gonna go with Liberal. Liberal. I'm gonna go with Liberal for now. Yeah, it came in a little afternoon. Um, don't brush me off like that, you two. Oh, whatever. I'll just take one copy then. That comes 200? 200, 200, 100 Mira. I know my dad's always busy copy. Bus always busy to copy. Oops. Oh my god, I can't read anymore. I was talking about I had a 12th grade reading level. I keep saying busy instead of buys. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? It sure does. L liberal News. L liberal. Little Barrel News has an excellent reporter and camera woman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. The reading was supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. One more thing before you go. The gift, um, this gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but don't hold the free part against me. Re recipe book. What's this supposed to be for? There's a ton of blank pages. It's a recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you go hurt fighting, if you just limit your to healing bond all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallet. That's where the rest of the book comes into play. If you can eat food, if you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free. So I mean, you have all the ingredients anyway. So if you eat something new, write down what's in it, and you'll have a lot of recipes in no time. So we try it out. Can I eat this cookie style? Ooh, well, I made a personal rule to never turn down sweet. Well, I made a personal rule to never turn down sweets. <laughs> Learn maple cookie. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. Munch. Steen them in. You should eat whatever. It's like Skyrim. I just eat flowers. I'm like. <laughs> just like. You know, just dragonborns walking by. You see the hero of the realm. He's just like shoving Daisy down his mouth. <laughs> Magic. I've always found that really funny. You come across. Eat everything, okay? This this wooden piece of bark right here, eat that shit. Everything, and you learn it all. You will become a mad, mad cooking master. Well, that sounds good to me. I don't like cooking at all. It's just that I never seem to get better, any better. I should love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit. And I'm passing, if, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'll be delighted to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Miss Renown. Thank you for the recipe book. Well, put it in good use. Eating the recommended dish at a restaurant for using to-go meals as the recipe to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all learned recipes will be displayed as long as unnecessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of food, sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients used for cooking can be brought to the store or acquired from monsters. Okay. Uh, shop. Didn't, like... Didn't she, like, want, like, a... Like shoes or something at one point? I remember that. Uh. I'm just saying, was our last day of training. On a certain sense, both of you and Josh were like celebrities here in Roland. I tend to hear a lot from customers coming through here. <laughs> She's not expecting anything less from Roland. Great vine around here is seriously something to be reckoned with. No kidding, the woman here especially love to gossip. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I gossip. Uh, I should probably talk to everybody. I don't know if the Bracer Guild. Uh, yeah. Hello, we made it. We did it. Make sure you don't know making make tinkers and parts. Comes with these course crickets. Now my league, I don't know who invented these things, but they're extremely complicated little machines. Uh, hey, you're doing good work so far. Ah, uh, what's the emblem on your chest? Congratulations, you too. So you finally become bracers, huh? Tee thanks. Cell, you're way too proud of yourself. 
Why do you always have to ruin the moment, Joshua? I should be just happy because I earned it. And you should at least let me bash the glory for a minute. Sometimes you can just be so... But still, now that you've become a bracer, you're going to have to get over your little uh, problem with horrible arts. Man, you too? Why do you have to go and spoil my day by saying things like that? <laughs> if you have any other business needs, don't forget to stop by. Actually, no, I agree with Estelle on that one. Just let her bask in her victory for once. I mean, come on, you earn, you, they earn something. Obviously, you know, becoming a basically a soldier at sixteen, that that must be. Oh crap! What I'm about to say that, that must be you know kind of a big achievement. Okay, uh, Josh Estelle, I'm glad I found you. Oh hi, Ana. Something wrong? You seem quite hurried. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents, but what's going on? You know Luke and Pat, right? I sure do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies in the north northern outskirts of Roland. You mean the Tower of Esmolus? <laughs> Isn't that a place supposed to be like a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Charizard is on out on other basements, so I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Josh and I'll go after him and bring them back. I don't know if it's not such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior racers today. Uh, with all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Racers Guild, I will ask you that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Mind of that. Understood. The Esmo Towers can be reached by taking the western path in the junction along the Malga Trail. You can get on the Malga Trail through the Rollins Northwest Gate. I'll be on a standby of the guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, Joshua. We don't have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. Oh, but I wanted to shop. Okay, whatever. Fine. We need to go. Um. Wait, okay. Uh, which one's the map? Okay, there. Which way are we going? Okay, um, I need to look at our journal. Actually, I feel probably save too. Okay, yeah, um... Tactics, no. And you'll learn what all these... What every button does. Did I have a journal at some point? Uh, ah, I don't know what these buttons do. Okay, so. Okay. Um, towers north of Roland at the west end of the Maga Trail. North. Uh, client bracer play uh, request appears. Okay, north. And you go north. So this way. Here's this one. exactly what you say. She's got the fascinating charm that people in the don't have. Lines off in this little world again. <laughs> It's actually, got, I've gone drinking with Trezor before. But the strange thing is, I have no complete memory of that time. Ha, huh, maybe I should try it and ask her out again. Okay, no. Um, I'm sorry, bud. Something's gonna happen. Oh, hello. I'm proud of the work I do here. That's because I've always wanted to work on Orbital Engine. You no, know, I'll talk to these people later. We have to go save children. I hope I'm going the right way. Fuck, okay, I don't think I'm going the right way. I need to find... said north. Maybe I just went the wrong... Okay. Not the trail. Okay, found it. There's, I'm sure there's supposed to be a button that, like... I thought there was a button that, like, brought up a small map.
Oh shit, I just ran into an enemy. I'm trying to... Oh crap, yeah, just beat him up. Okay, uh... Alright, you... Prepare. Missed, okay. And then you... Attack this one. Yeah! I think now he should be able to... Okay, he's almost dead. Hit this one. Yeah, okay, now we should have... Just a few more hits to take these guys out. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, Josh, you're gonna take a few hits, but you'll be alright. Okay, you try to kill him. And I'll try to kill the other one. Yeah! Did it. Do 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 a a victory. Oh, we're the best. Oh. Ooh, revival, nice. Uh, I think Joshua probably needs to heal. Smith's Tower. Yeah, this one. Should I be fighting these guys to gain XP? I can fight them on the way back. This is kind of interesting. Looks like we come all the way to the Esmos Tower. I don't see any signs of them along trails, so you don't think they wander inside. It's quite likely that that's the case. Let's go in. Looks like we'll need, we'll need to in a hurry. Uh, make sure they're not... Okay. Alright, yep. Let's go inside. Ooh, it's like a dungeon. It's dark in here. I'm scared. We're being a baby. <laughs> We're the only ones on the first floor of this place. Okay, did you hear that? They really did come in here. Okay. And so, are you alright? Luke, Pat, <laughs> if you can hear me, answer me now. That's a little brat. They think they can't hear me. Might have just climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. Okay. Mm. Okay, I said I was going to do an hour episode, but it's almost a 40 minutes right now. We have a good stopping point. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to end the episode here, but later today uh, I, will, uh, I will record another episode and then post that later on the day. So I'll post I'll have an afternoon upload of about the same amount of time. So I might be transitioning to two episodes a day of 40 minutes. I think that might work. Yeah, okay. So I appreciate you guys um, sticking by. Um, like and subscribe, all that jazz. And if you enjoyed, just... Please share this with other people. And if you know anyone else that likes Trails in the Sky and also blind playthroughs, I've never played this game before. I typically try to focus on blind playthroughs and I stream and whenever I do get my streaming stuff set up, I typically like to stream multiplayer games as streams and then I do blind playthroughs um, as, as LPs. And that's kind of if you kind of want to give a description. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. And goodbye.